There's a movie recently added to Netflix called The Summer of St. Guy. This was actually playing in my festival, the Tallgrass Film Festival, back in October. I had to introduce this movie without seeing it. And I watched half of it, then a party kicked off and I went to the party. But I was not terribly impressed. I remember thinking, this is a trope of every cute lesbian chick film from the from anywhere in Europe for that matter. It's always the same stuff. Like, if we get two cute girls to get naked in our movie, and one of them's going to be uh, kind of shy and depressed, maybe she cuts herself, and the other one's gonna be a lively spirit and she's gonna do most of the talking, and they're gonna bond, we're gonna get awards, aren't we? And that's really the way it works. If you wanna make, uh, not necessarily money, but you want to have some awards come in so you can get money on your next film. Cute lesbians in Europe. So Lithuanian film, same guy. Main character probably says five lines in the whole film. She is, and honestly you don't even know this until halfway through the movie that she's an aviation enthusiast. She seems to be afraid to fly. She says she has vertigo. I don't necessarily believe this. She meets this girl who is a photographer slash slash fashion designer and uh, they get it on. And of course, all those tropes I talked to you about are present there. Hell, same guy is even getting laid by a guy and depressed in the process. Like, uh, Dick's not doing it for me. Uh. So, and make sure I know what was wrong when I said that, but uh, yeah, that's your movie here, Summer of Saint Guy. Uh, eventually, and honestly, there's not enough here to warrant a feature film. Like maybe 15 minutes short at best, to be honest with you. But we have same guy works up the nerve to climb some ladders. Just there's a montage of that. And now she's over her vertigo. Two years later, she's a stunt pilot. Now, this isn't an absolutely terrible film. It's very cliche. But it does two things right. First of all, real airplanes. We have action movies that don't use real airplanes. But every shot of an airplane in this is fair dinkum, as the Australians say. A genuine airplane. Uh, I'm not so sure that the actress is actually flying it. I know that sometimes, don't you sit in the back if you're the pilot? when people are lined up uh, one behind the other in a plane. On one plane she's in the back, on one plane she's in the front. But there's somebody there each time. So, is she doing the stunts or not? I don't know. But she's actually in the plane. That much is certain. That's nice. And second, it gets it together as far as editing and cinematography are concerned. It's a pretty looking movie. If your movie is going to be as vapid and shallow and really only have two characters in it, one of whom is a non-character, then in the very least, craft your film to look good and presentable. Uh, Summer of Saint Guy, I give two out of four stars.